Hi guys, my name is Vanessa Smedley and I am a painter. Today I thought I would do something just a little bit different and rather than taking you through a painting that I've done, I am going to show you what is in my plein air kit or my little travel kit for watercolor. It includes some items that you may not think about before you get out somewhere and you know you're left up a creek without, oh, a pencil sharpener. I forgot and now I've broken my pencil and now I need to sharpen my pencil and oh no, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, this is things that I have decided to include in here through trial and error and it may help you out a little bit yourself if you're thinking about starting to paint outdoors or even just a little travel kit that you can take with you when you're in a hotel or whatever. So let's do this. Okay, so let's dive right in. Um, as you can see, this is not very big. Um, it's probably about the size of a purse, but it's kind of a, this is kind of a unisex uh, crossbody bag type thing. Um, I got it off Amazon. It says the brand is Casgo. I've never heard of that, but I just thought it was a good little, good little bag for a plein air set. So let's just start by opening it up here and We've got our sketch book. Um, this is a hardcover. It's a Stillman and Byrne beta series. This is a nine by six and it is a um, 180 pound paper. Um, I like to get as thick as, as thick as I can for the paper because I just, I don't love when paper buckles. Um, but so far this has done really well for me. It's a nice size too, it's not too huge. Um, when you're sketching outdoors, you don't want to sit there and just sketch something huge, or at least I don't. <clears throat> Next, we have our little paint set. This is a Windsor & Newton Cotman series. That is their student range, student grade range. Um, but it's perfect for sketching, I think. And Cotman is good quality anyway. I know lots of people who just use that as their re regular paint. It's got a lot of mixing wells over here. Um, it's got 14 colors if you count white, but I mean, I don't count white, let's be honest. I mean, white is pretty pointless for for watercolor. So um, it's got this pulley out thing here um, for more mixing. It has this little, um, little water well here, but it holds like two drops of water. So to me, that's kind of pointless. I use something else for that. Um, it's got this tiny little brush here, but I also don't use that. But it's nice that it's there if I need it for very fine details or something. Then we have a little spray bottle for um, you know, keeping washes going if we need it to. We have a collapsible water pot. Um, I realize that is fairly large, but it collapses pretty small and it doesn't take up a lot of room in your kit. This is Faber-Castell. But I really like that. To me, it's better to have a bigger kit and to have everything that you want rather than to try to shove a, like a micro set of everything in. So I like this, that size. I have a little roll of tape here in case I want to roll um, tape the edges. And then we start getting into these little pockets up here. This little one here is where I keep all my drawing implements. And we have a, this is Tombow Mono Zero, tiny little eraser there for getting um, into some really tight areas. We have a little bit bigger eraser. This is a Pentel click eraser. You can get those like anywhere. Then I have a Staedtler Fine Liner. A pigment liner. This is 0 0.1 in case you want to do some line and wash while you're out and about, which I actually tend to do quite a bit of when I'm when I'm sketching outdoors. I don't know why. It just makes things a little bit easier, I think. Um, this is a Pebio drawing gum masking fluid marker. Um, I actually have not used this on location, but it's there if I need to. Um, I don't tend to to want to sit there and wait for the stuff to dry and you know when you're out and about but maybe if I was drawing in a hotel or you know on a trip or something. I have a tiny little six inch ruler if I need it. I have um, 
I don't know how this pen got in there, but it's a Star Wars pen too. This is my R2-D2 sketching pencil. Uh, <laughs> technically, this is just your regular old, um, you know, number two pencil. I think I got these in a box of Valentine's for my daughter and when she was too young to use the pencils, so I stole them. I got like 20 of them and I keep using them when I, when I use them all up because I'm a dork and I like R2-D2 as evidenced by the Star Wars pen that really shouldn't have been in there, but there it is. Um, in our next little thing, we have a, um, a pencil sharpener so that if you're out and about and you break your pencil, you're not up a creek without one. This is a General's. And it's got like, you know, it's cool because it, it catches the shavings for you um, rather than having one of the ones that just doesn't have a catcher on it and you don't have pencil shavings everywhere. Then I have, let's go ahead and take those out. Let's, I have these little clips, which I made a short on the other day. This is for clipping your, your paper to your pad um, to keep it from buckling, but also to keep, um, the top area, the one that you're not painting on from blowing around and driving you nuts if there's some wind. And speaking of wind, if you have long hair, this is an essential little thing because my hair was blowing around in the wind the other day just driving me crazy. So I added that little guy in there. And then we have some good old plain, plain old shop towels folded up in here. I wish they had like a little packet um, that these came in, but I haven't been able to find one. So I just fold up a couple of big sheets and you know, those are reusable. Um, these are really, really thick. If you haven't used them before, they're really thick and they, um, they absorb a lot. And it, they're actually used to absorb like grease stains and stuff like that in, in um, like mechanics use them. So um, they're really good for paint. I, I've always used them for paint and it's, it's pretty awesome. So they're good for a travel kit as well. And then these here are the star of the show. This is my travel brush set. It comes in this little magnetic case thingy here. And then you, uh, it's Princeton Aqua Elite is what these are. You open them up, lay it down. Pull that out, turn it around, and you've got a full-size brush to, to paint with. I have just found these to be amazing. I love them. And that way you're not shoving a, a brush down in there and getting the bristles all, um, you know, messed up, being shoved in a pocket or something like that. The bristles are protected by this thing. It actually has a little hole down there so that, um, so that the bristles can dry out and they won't mold. I just do that back here. This is a number 10. This is a number eight and number six and a number four. So you've got a nice range of, of sizes to work with. I really wish that, that there was a 10 included in this set. I might buy an extra, I'm sorry, a 12. I wish there was a 12 because I use a lot of 12s. Um, I might buy an extra one and put it in here because I really just use 12s a lot. Um, but anyway, there's my little setup for when I want to go out and about painting. And there you have it. That is my little travel kit that I take with me if I want to paint outdoors or if I'm just going, I don't know, to see my mom and I want to paint while I'm there. I hope that was helpful for you and I hope that maybe it inspires you to want to put together your own little kit and to start painting outdoors. I think that it is something that helps to develop your artistic skills and your being able to see what's in front of you and paint in front of you and I hope that you get out and do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, all of that fun stuff, because that is how this channel gets to be seen by more people. Thanks for watching, see you next time.